another lawsuit relating to a former team physician. This is the third lawsuit that claims Dr. Richard Strauss sexually assaulted students and athletes and the university did nothing to stop him. Good evening, I'm Yolanda Harris and I'm Scott Light. We're glad you're joining us. This all comes on the heels of two class action lawsuits already in the court system. Now on 10 TV News here at 6, Shelby Croft shows us what comes next as these cases move forward. No, when it was happening to me, I was literally letting it happen because I didn't know how to respond to it. We've heard Steve Snyder Hill's story. In 1995, he saw then OSU doctor Richard Strauss at the Student Health Center for a lump on his chest. He says he received a genital exam and Strauss pushed his erection against Snyder Hill and asked sexual questions. His story is similar to so many others coming forward. Who gets the blame? Ohio State University. They are the institution. Attorney Scott Smith just filed a complaint on behalf of Snyder Hill, Dave Mulvin, who we've also spoken with, and eight others. In all the claims, the men say they would go to Strauss and no matter the ailment, he would grope their genitals and sometimes do anal exams. This case is not a class action like the two previous suits. The court's going to make a decision how they want to go about this. They may have us all in together. They may talk about it. There may be motions filed. There may be discussion before a lot of things occur. With this case, OSU will be given time to respond, then the discovery phase where evidence is collected to support the accuser claims. The suit is asking for an undisclosed amount of money and changes. The most important thing that Ohio State University can do is change their culture. Where is the oversight? They need to change the culture. They need to be detoured from doing this again. They need to be held accountable for what's happened. There are no reports of complaints or disciplinary action in Dr. Strauss's personnel file and no record of a 1997 hearing regarding complaints against him. Such a hearing is brought up in two of the lawsuits. Strauss left the university in 1998. And I mean, we are kids. We were kids. Yeah. They, they have a job to protect us. In Columbus, Shelby Croft, 10TV News. 10TV asked OSU whether the 1997 hearing regarding complaints against Dr. Strauss happened. OSU says it can't discuss details of the ongoing independent investigation.